What is up guys, back with another video, my name is Top Tap Guides, and we're here to go over on how to stop your computer from freezing randomly while you're playing your games or doing other bullshit. Now, we need to figure out what the problem is. Now, a lot of times your computer could freeze from it being overheated, and if it is overheating, then you need to send it to someone to get it serviced, because, um, or you need to change the thermal compound on that CPU, which you can look up on a different video on how to do that, because... Well, I believe I did make a video, but I have no idea. I don't remember. But anyways, let's go on about on how to do it. Now, first off, I actually pay for my softwares. I'm not saying that you guys do, but um, I pay for a lot of the softwares that I use on my videos. Say, for example, um, Norton Security. I actually pay for it. And um, in order for me to keep it running, I uh, I perform system scans. Um, what I do recommend you is to run a system scan on whatever antivirus you have, um, because in order to it for it to be successful, you need to run a system scan so that you can make sure there's no viruses or malware in your computer. Because the viruses and malware can actually cause your computer to freeze. So what you need to do is run a full system scan on both through Norton or you don't have to use Norton you can just use malware by it and it should be fine and it's a free software for you to download but Norton is not free you actually have to pay for that um, the only reason I have Norton is because I have the active scanning so so that in case something uh, tries to get in my computer it will notice it immediately and it will act act whatever it needs to do another thing that we need to do is we need to check if there's any system updates on your operating system some operating system updates on Windows can actually cause your computer to freeze up. This is well known. So after checking up for an update and if it shows up as clear like you have no updates then well let's move on to the next thing. Let's open up command prompt. But don't worry all you need to do is run it as administrator and we're just using a program that is built within Windows to check your file system to see if there's any corruption. What we do is we, ch we type in chkdsk, which means check disk, and you click enter. This, what this is going to do is a read-only scan. It's going to read your hard drive and see if there's any corrupted or bad sectors on your drive. And if there is, it can make adjustments into fixing them. So as you can see, I have zero bad file records. Now, if you did have a bad file record, I'll tell you in a minute once all the scan goes through. Um, sometimes this scan does freeze from time to time, which it looks like it just did. Um, it, to be honest, it really doesn't surprise me that it, it did freeze because it did freeze the first time. Uh, oops. It did freeze a different time. We try again. Let's have it go through. I have an SSD, so it goes through the scan like really, really fast. Let's hope it doesn't freeze this time. No, it doesn't look like it's going to. Okay. Let's give it a second. There we go. Let's see what we got. All right, so it's done. So here we are. Zero bad spec sectors in the first uh, stage. Second stage is right here. Examining file leak linkage, examining security descriptors. Don't see anything wrong here. You got zero there, and zero right here. Zero bad sectors. This is a big thing right here. And it says right here, Windows has scanned the file system and found no problems. So we can go ahead and ignore this, but. If you did find a problem, we type in chkdsk-f. What this does initiates a scan. Obviously, it cannot run because the volume is being used by another process. Well, what we have to do is we have to do it during when your computer restarts. So we click yes, 
for um, would you like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time the system restarts click type Y and enter and it will the next time you shut off your computer and turn it back on it will check your file system to make sure everything's good um, it also um, gives the pro gives um, the command line uh, permission to go ahead and uh, run a file check and if you're still having issues I think I know what the issue is um, I don't really like it, like to have you guys pay for software, but if you find a software that works better than this one, or if someone in the comments finds a, a drive, uh, like IOBit driver booster or something like that, probably might work, but then again, I don't really trust that software. Um, I recommend Driver Easy, which you do have to pay $30 for the program in order to scan your computer what this does is check the drivers of your computer and sees whether or not if there's anything wrong with them once it runs the scan it will take a little bit for it to go through but for me it will run relatively fast let it go ahead and scan all the drivers through your computer and what it's going to do is that it's going to access its database download the information put it on your computer and it will list out what drivers need to be updated now when my computer froze and I was having problems um, my AMD SM bus was outdated. It was actually really, really well outdated. Um, for some reason, it's still outdated, and that's mainly because AMD has not made a new version for my bus in a very long time. I'm not too certain why they just haven't. Um, a couple of problems that I had was a um, a generic USB hub, or um, one of my USB ports were bad, um, and a couple of other uh, devices were also bad that had to be updated through driver easy so if you want to get this software go into the description bar if you want to get any of the software go into the description bar and you can get it now for security for security scans I recommend malwarebyte because it's free because all you need to do is run system scans to your computer you don't need to you technically don't need to pay for it if you really want to pay for it you can just upgrade now and then you will have to pay to um, get the premium version of it it is kind of pricey though just warning you um, for some reason it's not working but I'm not going to bother with it so what we're going to do is just do a scan now and that's it you don't really have to do any other work we can go ahead and cancel this and if you wanted to get very comprehensive on what kind of scan you should do um, you should do a threat scan uh, you can also do a hyper scan too but to be honest you'd probably be better off with a with a uh, just a regular one you can also customize it to scan all your drives and then uh, you can also um, modify the way that, um, that the scans run, like scanning for root kits, which if you don't know what root kits are, they get access to your computer and take control of your computer. So they're really, they're really nasty. And all you have to do is click scan. And these scans will take a while for them to go through. Sometimes for my computer, they don't take long, but you know, it, it is as it is. Anyways, guys. Hit me with the like and subscribe button if you want more videos like this. Well, just say what you want and uh, I'll get back to you on it. See you guys later.